what is up. You too. <laughs> All right. We're going to be continuing our daily devotionals, right? The devotionals will indeed continue. I want to go ahead and share this devotional with you all because it's really important, really special to me. So let's go ahead and get this ball rolling. Oh, I almost dropped that. All right. Let's go ahead and share today's devotional. Today, we're talking about getting specific with your purpose. Again, if you guys want this, this is a gift from a friend from college. This is a gift to me. I'm so thankful that my friend gave this to me. So if you want it, the book of days, it's awesome. So I want to be talking about getting specific with the purpose that God has for your life. Get specific with them. Okay. And this is what I mean by that. This is what I mean by that. Who are you? Who are you? What does it mean to be who you are? Who are you? Why are you here? Why are why do you exist? These are necessary things you must ask yourself. Who are you and why are you even here in the first place? When you realize this, this changes everything. Because let me tell you something. There's only one you. There's only one you. No one can be you. And you shouldn't try to compare yourself to other people. Try to be other people because there's only one you. There's only one you, but why are you here? That's the second part. Who are you? Because there's only one you and why are you here? I'm sorry, but just saying uh, I'm here by accident. I'm here by mistake. That's not gonna cut it. That's not gonna cut it. That's not gonna cut it. You were a mistake. That's not gonna cut it. It's not. Listen. When you look at the great authors of the Bible and the heroes of the Bible in the Old Testament, Moses, Noah, Samson, all of da David, Solomon, these guys were able to accomplish what they did because they knew their purpose in a broken world that was run by Satan and his goons. They were able to accomplish what they did because they knew their purpose in a broken world that was run by Satan and his goons. Straight up. So, again, I cannot stress this enough. Do not settle for less. Being vague. Oh, you know what? I'm here by accident. Oh, it doesn't really matter. God, there's so many people from the beginning of time to the end of time. Now, so many people that have existed. What does my purpose matter? What, what do I have to contribute in all this? It doesn't matter. Wrong. There's a lie from you. Don't let yourself, two of your greatest enemies, something my dad used to tell me, two of your greatest enemies is Satan and yourself. Satan and yourself, two enemies that you have to conquer because your flesh, your mind is going to try to mess with your spirit, right? Your flesh, your mind is going to mess with your spirit. It's going to mess with your spirit. You got to get your mind right, your soul right with God and his will for you. So don't be vague. Don't settle for less. Get specific. Get specific with your purpose. I recommend first and foremost, sitting down and talking to God, asking God, hey, Lord, what is your plan? What is your purpose for my life? What are you trying to do and accomplish in my life? Right? Ask your mentors. It's always good to have people that can lead you in the right direction towards God, right? Ask your mentors, ask your friends, your peers, your family, ask them, okay? Everyone has spiritual gifts, spiritual gifts. Get specific. What are your gifts that the Lord has blessed you with? What are you innately good at? You know, gifts that they, they seem natural. Oh, I've always been good at this since day one. I've been able to do this. Then get with that and talk with people about that. Talk with God about that. And he'll clear up the message. Because let me tell you something. The world needs you to be.
be the best version of yourself. The world needs you to be the best version of yourself in these difficult times. Because if you cannot be the best version of yourself, we're in trouble. We're in trouble. The world needs you to be the best version of yourself so that we can properly combat against Satan and his goons. Really. The world needs you to be, I'm telling you, hey, you watching this video. <laughs> the world needs you to be the best version of yourself. All right. I want to read with you guys some scripture, okay? Because what's a devotion without scripture? I'll be reading from 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 7. 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 7. Okay? Here we go. Whereunto I am ordained a preacher and an apostle. I speak the truth in Christ and lie not. A teacher of the Gentiles in faith and verity. I want to read that one more time because this verse actually speaks to me very well. This is actually a theme of my, my mission. This is a theme of my mission. Whereunto I am ordained a preacher and an apostle. That's what I am. I am a preacher and an apostle. See, it's interesting. I've, I've talked to a few Christians. I've heard some people say, you can't be a preacher and a disciple. Says who? The disciples preached and they were disciples. That's who we all are. Preachers are disciples. Pastors are disciples. A preacher and an apostle, I speak the truth in Christ and lie not. A teacher of the Gentiles in faith and verity. Right? Amen. Amen, amen, amen. God's got a specific plan for you. So, take it up with your father and ask him what his plan is for your life. Now, I want to make something clear. When I say God has a specific plan for your life, I'm not talking about prosperity. It's going to come easy simply because he has a plan for your life. He has a good plan for your life simply because the creator of the universe has a plan for you to benefit his kingdom. Therefore, it is good. But I don't mean good and easy, good in an easy way. No trials, no tribulation. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about simply the fact that your, your will or God, sorry, God's will for your life is good. That is good. Amen. Amen. When you pray, I want you to pray this. Today, I want you to pray this. Lord, give me the courage and the hope that I need. Give me the courage and the hope that I need to pursue the calling that you have for me in my life. Help me find courage. Help me find courage and passion to pursue the calling that you have on my life. So I want you to pray. Thank you so much for listening. And I just, I love you all. I love you all. Get specific with God. Get specific with God. Amen. I love you all. God bless and Jesus loves you too, man.